So it has been a very, very interesting set of few days with Emily Armstrong joining Lincoln Park and then being revealed as a Scientologist and one who apparently supported Danny Masterson. So now I will be adding a lot more context and hopefully this will paint a more accurate picture of who Emily is and where she stands with the church. Let me get the shilling out of the way. Please give my other channels a chance. Please consider supporting the channel via channel memberships or through any other means. And please consider signing up for Twitter and following me there if you want. So what am I bringing to bear? Well, let me just cover the basics because I think there's a little bit of confusion. So there seem to be two competing stories making Emily this super high-ranking Scientologist, OSA spy woman. And the other competing mythology is that she only showed up to several Scientology events, nothing more, nothing less. So there's not much to see here. So let's deal with that latter mythology, and then we'll go into how much Emily is into Scientology. So Emily essentially got into a bit of a fight with Bixler, one of Danny Masterson's victims. And I want to stress that some of the Jane Doe's are telling the truth, but some of the Jane Doe's are not to be believed. And Bixler and her husband are a very mixed record. However, it was them who were pointing out that Emily did attend a Scientology gala event, which is true. There is photographic evidence of that. On top of that, Emily did appear at once, and we think one time only, to support Danny. And that is also true, and we have some evidence there as well, but it's a little bit unclear. Emily, in her statement, tries to minimize it, saying, yes, she showed up, but then she found out more and then withdrew her support from Danny Masterson. I'm going to show some evidence that really complicates that picture. Now, there are several personalities involved who I... Have a very poor opinion on i will try to constrain myself but i do not like these people these people are grifters liars i can demonstrably show that they are lying and they are grifters but i'm not going to do the full-blown expose here so let's start off with some contributing evidence to the danny masterson controversy again the mythology is that emily knew him just in passing they aren't really that close but if we just do a little bit more research and digging we will find out that yes she appeared at a concert apparently some kind of charity event with Fleetwood Mac, where she performed, and who else was performing but, yes, Danny Masterson. Again, a lot of people forget that Danny was also a musician. He did music as a DJ. He also, I think, played some instruments. He wasn't just an actor. He was a little bit more versatile. Whatever you think about him, he did do some music. Okay, that's not too bad. It happens. She's a musician. He's a musician. But no, it gets a lot deeper and darker. But I will have to do some editorializing here. Now we will keep it very brief. So there's this frankly, psychopath called Serge Del Mar. That's his YouTube name. His real name is Serge Gill. Now, Serge has had a very complicated and difficult life. Very skeptical he is who he says he is, but I have no doubt he experienced some abuse while being in Scientology, but his whole story doesn't really add up. So Serge, quote, joined Scientology at a very young age. He claims he was thoroughly abused, but he only gives a few details about the abuse. It's a little bit sketchy. Nevertheless, he stayed in Scientology a very long time. He only officially left in 2015, and the church states that he was pushed out. I'm not too concerned with Serge's lying and his grifting, at least not here. But I will note and emphasize something, that he is an artist. Now, why is this important? Because Emily showed up at his art gallery in 2014. And this is very, very important, because besides Serge, who is discrediting himself, because Serge is with Jordan Masterson. Jordan Masterson is the brother of Danny Masterson. In fact, this event had a lot of Scientologists showing up, including Laura Prepon. And if you look from the photos, it is this event, because we can see in the background, it is LA Odyssey that is their art gallery, and Emily has shown up with some friends. So it seems clear that Emily does have a history of repeatedly going to events, not even official Scientology events, just social events with Scientologists and acting friendly with Hollywood Scientologists including Serge Gill. And Serge put out a video condemning Emily. He did bring up that he saw an early concert of her in 2005. He makes no mention of possibly seeing her at the art gallery. Now, it is possible they were both at the art gallery and just never met and never shook hands, but it is impossible to believe he was not aware that she was present at his own art gallery, right? It's his art gallery. It's him and two other artists displaying their works of art. How would he not be aware of who's a guest? He's pictured with Jordan Masterson. So he's well aware of these Hollywood Scientologists. So yeah, he's just a fraud and a grifter and a complete moron. I don't like him very much. So now we have two key pieces of evidence. I will admit 
This additional piece of evidence is a little bit thin. It's more mm, vague, but it is interesting. Because people have wondered, how did Mike and Lincoln Park even get to Emily or these Scientology people? Well, they have a past with Scientology outside of Emily. Now, this is a little controversial because Beck has recently said he is no longer in Scientology. But when he was in Scientology, one of his friends, again, was, you guessed it, Danny Masterson. Boy, Danny got around. But Beck has said recently he is not in Scientology. But he added an incredible admission that his father has remained in Scientology. And who is his father? That's David. Now, bear that in mind because, you see, in some of Linkin Park's albums, who did production work? And again, I want to be clear, there's a controversy among the fans that Mike did most of the work, and I'm sure he did. So I want to be careful. It's not clear that David did the complete production, but he did contribute, and he is a Scientologist. And if you look it up, it's in his own Wikipedia. He displays it proudly. Yes. So Beck's father worked with Lincoln Park, and Beck's father remains in Scientology. So Lincoln Park has worked with Scientologists before. And to add to this, who has Emily done work with? Yes, Beck. She freely admits she's worked with Beck, back when he was a Scientologist. So no, it's not just a one-time thing. It's not only Danny Masterson. It was not just those two events. It wasn't just the gala and that one-time appearance in court. She has a persistent pattern and history of hanging out with Scientologists, being with Scientologists, and being friendly with Scientologists. So this mythology that she only showed up to two Scientology events in her entire life is just not true. She is an active Scientologist. Now, is she an actual hardcore Scientologist? Is she an OSA? I don't know that. There's a lot of wild rumors spreading around of who she is, her background, and thus far, it's frankly not very impressive. There's no real photographic evidence. There's no real even news reports. This is just a lot of speculation. But I want to be fair, and again, I'm going to say again, I don't trust this woman, Miriam Francis, who is a very partisan journalist. And again, Unlike Serge, I do think Miriam's story holds up as a story of abuse, but whether she's telling the truth, I don't know. She, was, she put out a vague community post saying that she knew of Emily, apparently personally, and they, grew, and they both grew up in this weird Scientology compound called The Ranch. It's not really a ranch, but they called it The Ranch. And she's calling upon Emily to tell the truth. Now, does Miriam really know Emily? I would like to know that, but she doesn't provide any photos. She doesn't give any personal anecdotes. She just says, we both came from the same place. Right. I mean, that's just generic. I could say, I come from the East Coast. So what? A lot of people come from the East Coast. You can say you have similar circumstances and experiences. Doesn't mean you really know the person. So does Miriam claim she really knows Emily personally? Or just vaguely, oh, we were both in Scientology. Right. Got it. That doesn't really add to very much. The ex-Scientologists are trying to get in on the action. I understand that. This is a cash cow now. It's a big controversy. Again, I'm not going to claim to be totally innocent here, right? I try and make money on YouTube, but I think we have to be careful with these claims. Definitely the mythology that Emily is only somewhat in Scientology is false. She seems to be fully into it. However, how hardcore are her beliefs? Why is she staying in? Is it due to her mother? Is it due to fear of disconnection? Fear that Osa will go after her? It's a lot of question mark. Does she really believe that Danny's even guilty? Or was she just being told, listen, it's just better for you to withdraw support. Remember, Laura Prepon was a big friend of Danny Masterson. They worked together for years. She was in Scientology for years and years, but she did not support Danny publicly. So again, two things can be true. It could be that Emily does support Danny, but isn't being public about it. And or she did wake up to Danny being guilty, but she doesn't really care. Again, there's a lot of different possibilities here. So it does appear that Emily is an active Scientologist. But what kind of Scientologist? That we don't fully know yet, so we have to be very, very careful. But this is public information. You can double check it yourself. I'm providing all the screenshots, so the receipts are here. So the picture emerging is that she's much more intensely in Scientologist than people think. And Lincoln Park does have Scientology links. This isn't the first time they've dealt with Scientologists. We just have to wake up that Scientology is very big in Hollywood. It's going to be a very normal experience to run into Scientologists. This may be shocking to outside people, but if you work in Hollywood, this is kind of just an open secret to them, unfortunately, whether we like it or not.